Hey kids, it's great to see you again. Welcome back. I'm Beck and this is River. Say hi River. He's still learning to talk. But this week we're going to be talking about peace. And I know for sure at my household, we definitely need some peace. Pastor Alicia, what's up for today? Hi guys, my name is Alicia. We are going to hear another great Bible story about peace. And we're also going to worship together and do a fun activity. Before we get started, Soti, can you help us remember our Mosaic Kids core values? Of course! Hi, Mosaic Kids! Hi! Hi, Mosaic Kids! My name is Soti. My name is Brooklyn. And Leah. Let's review our Mosaic Kids core values. We are strong. We are kind. We are creative. And we are generous. And like Beck and Alicia said, we all want to be full of peace. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Let's go! What's up, Mosaic Kids? I'm Zai, and let's get ready to do worship. Now stand up on your feet and get ready to dance. Hey, what's going on, Mosaic Kids? I'm Twitch. And I'm Allison. And we are so excited to dance with y'all today. Listen, we have a very, very special boss family workout just for y'all today. So now all this is is a follow along. So there is no prior dance experience needed. All we want is for you guys to have fun and join in with us. Absolutely. Hey, just worry about having as much fun as you possibly can. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. All right, y'all, listen. Everything starts with a two step. Everything. All right, here we go. Watch. Hey, you're doing great. You're doing great. All right, let's just take it out while we do it. Take it out. Take the nerves out. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Keep it up. Keep it up. Hey. Keep it going. Let's go. Wow. All right. Let's cool it out. Let's cool it out. Now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna nod our head like this. Mm. 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 Now we're going four to each side. Just nod your head like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Step it up. Let's go. Hey, hey. Okay. Pick it back up with that two step. Nice, Let's guys. go. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Oh. Can we have that snap with the arm? Let's snap hey. with the arm. Let's go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Now we just go. Take it a little lower. Ah. Hey. Ah. Oh. Ah. Even lower, can you do it? There you did, you did it. Wow, that was nice. Thank y'all so much for rocking with us. Listen, I hope, you I hope you just picked up right now that there's nothing that you have to worry about when it comes to dancing. It's just having a good time, enjoying the music that you're hearing and letting your body kind of do what it wants to do. Guys, just keep moving and grooving. Absolutely. We love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us. We will see you guys next time. Bye. What's up, Mosaic Kids? We are so excited to worship with you guys. Yeah. We're going to sing one of our favorite songs called 15. Elvis, can you teach us the motions? Yes, I will. So for this part, we're going to start with Jesus. Whenever we say Jesus, we want you to point your, high, your hands to the sky. And then whenever we say is running to me, we want you guys to take off, run around your living room, your bathroom, just run around and then come back. <laughs> then after that, um, we go to my savior is calling my name and then Jesus will never give up on me. Yes, and whenever we say me in the song, we wanna hear you guys say me. 
Got it? All right, let's do this. song is called May God Be Everywhere I Go and so we're just asking God to just be with us in everything we do and everything that we face in life. Yeah, because he's always there for us, right? Yes. Yeah. We're going to show you some motions for this song. It goes, your light to guide me, your hands to hold me, your presence when I'm alone, your heart is beating, Forever with me, your voice will call me home, and then we'll go, may God be everywhere I go. And that's it. All right, can everyone get on their feet? This is a slow song, and I love to just listen to the words of it and put my hands up. So you're welcome to put your hands up with me. I have come alive in the strength Darkness 
So beautiful, guys. Thank you for worshiping with us. Today, we're going to continue learning about peace. Last week, we talked about how Jesus has the power to bring us peace, and he doesn't just want to bring peace to the situations around us, but how he cares about bringing us peace on the inside. Today, we're going to hear a story about a man who learned to have peace even when everything was crazy around him, and even when his friends and his family didn't have peace. His name is Job, and he learned something that was able to give him peace no matter what situation that he was in. Let's take a look. There once lived a rich man named Job who lived in the city of Uz. He was a very good man with very good character, and he always put God first. One day, God was talking to angels when Satan came up to them. God asked Satan, have you ever seen anyone as good as my servant Job? Of course he's good. You give him everything he could ever ask for. God knew Job would always praise him, but Satan wanted to test that. I bet if you took everything away from him, he would praise you anymore. God said, you can do what you want to him, but don't hurt him you will see that he won't stop praising me. <laughs> we'll see. All of a sudden, people started coming up to Job with some bad news. They told him that he had lost all of his animals, his cattle and his camels, because of robbers and a fire. Then they told him that he had lost all of his servants and all of his shepherds. And then, worst of all, someone came up to him and told him that he had lost all of his sons and all of his daughters. In just one day, Job lost everything he had except for his wife. Do you think Job got upset with God? No, instead he fell on his knees and praised God. God said, see, I knew Job would continue to praise me. Job felt horrible, but he would not say anything bad about God. Even his wife told him that he should say something bad about God, 
but he wouldn't do it. Job loved God so much. I came into the world with nothing and I will leave with nothing. Then Job's friends came to visit him and they told him that he must have done something wrong in order for all of these bad things to happen to him. You definitely did something wrong. God is punishing you. He's not, he never will. But Job knew that he had done nothing wrong and that God wasn't mad at him. Job was sad that his friends did not believe him. He didn't know why he was suffering so much, but he knew he didn't do anything wrong. Job wished that he had some answers from God. Then a young man named Elihu came up to Job and he reminded him that God was good and that there was probably a lesson for Job to learn in all of the suffering. Then God spoke directly to Job. He asked him questions like, who created the whole earth? Who takes care of all the plants and the animals? Who causes the sun to rise during the day and to set at night? Job remembered that God was powerful and that he knew more than Job did. Job realized that he didn't need to know why things happen the way that they do. He knew that he just needed to trust God. Then God gave Job his health back and he gave him back even more riches than he had before. And he gave Job a long and healthy life. Wow, Job learned something very important in this story. He learned to trust God's wisdom even when he didn't understand everything that was happening. Job suffered so much. Robbers came and took all that he had. He lost his animals and his servants. He got really sick. He even lost all of his sons and his daughters. Job had everything that he loved and valued taken away from him. Can you imagine how sad Job must have felt? When his wife heard what had happened, she tried to make Job talk bad about God. Then his friends came to visit him, and when they saw how much he was suffering, they asked him what he had done wrong in order to make God punish him like that. But remember, we learned in the beginning of the story that Job hadn't done anything wrong. Job was a good man. God even said so himself. Job was known for being honest and having good character, for loving and serving God. He tried to tell his friends this, but they didn't believe him when they saw how much he was suffering. Sometimes when we do things wrong, bad things can happen to us or to other people. But this story shows us that that isn't always true. Sometimes bad things can happen even when it feels like we're doing everything right. And that can make us feel a lot of anxiety or worry when we don't understand why things are happening the way that they are. It's okay to be sad about things that happen and even to be confused about why things are happening. Everyone goes through that. Job did. Even though Job loved God, he started to wonder why he was suffering so much. And he even started to get a little bit upset at God. But do you know what Job did when he started to feel confused and like he didn't understand anything that God was doing? He talked to God. He told him all about his feelings and his frustrations and his doubts. And it's okay for you to do that too. God answered Job by asking him questions that reminded him that God was powerful and in control, that God is good and that he's wise. Job remembered that God created everything. So he realized that of course God was going to be able to see and understand things that Job just couldn't understand in the moment. Job remembered all of the beauty that God put into the world and how he takes care of all the plants and the animals. So he realized that of course God wanted what was best for Job. At the end of the story, God gave Job back everything that he had lost and more. But that's not why Job praised God. Remember, Job praised God even when everything was gone. He praised God even when he was sick. And Job praised God even when his friends and his family didn't believe in him and when they didn't have peace about his situation. But Job was able to have peace. Peace that turned into praise because Job remembered and trusted that God was good and that he had a plan. He knew that God knows what he's doing, even when we don't understand what's happening. Mosaic kids, we can be like Job. 
We can have peace because we can trust God's goodness and wisdom. No matter what happens in your life, no matter what other people believe or say, you can trust that God has a good plan for you and that can give you so much peace. Praising God like Job did and finding things to be grateful to him for will help calm your heart and your mind. Remember, even Jesus went through so much pain and suffering and his followers didn't understand why he had to die on the cross. But Jesus cried out to God the Father and he was willing to go through so much suffering because he believed that there was a bigger and a beautiful plan that the people just couldn't understand in the moment. Jesus was willing to go through whatever it took in order to show us how much he loved us. We can trust that Jesus is always with us no matter what we're going through, and that can always bring us peace. This week, let's have peace by remembering the truths that God is wise, that he knows what he's doing, and that he is always good. And then let's turn our peace into praise. Let's pray together now. God, thank you so much that you give us stories in the Bible like this one of Job that help to teach us and remind us of your power and your goodness and your wisdom. God, thank you for giving us Jesus, who was willing to do whatever it took to go through whatever pain and suffering was needed for us to know how much that he loves us. God, I pray that this week that you would help us to have peace no matter what is happening and that we would never stop praising you. We love you so much and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, that was so much fun. We learned so much about what? Peace! Peace! Can we all thank Pastor Alicia for that talk? Thank you, Pastor Alicia! You're so welcome. Remember that we can have peace because we can trust that God is good and that he is wise and he knows what he's doing. Hey, Beck, before we go, we need to do our hands in. Okay, guys, hands in. Come on, River. Mosaic Kids on three. One, two, three. Mosaic Kids! Bye, see you next week. Bye. like the video then subscribe to our YouTube channel and give a like.